okay now let us see how to view a single blog post okay so whenever user click on this view link the request will get sent to view.php file and the id of that post will get sent along with the request okay here you can see this is the id of the post so when i click on the third view button the post third post will get open okay and uh, we will see the details of that post okay here so now let us uh, start doing that okay so let's first go to our editor and here i am on my view.php file okay, so now let's come here okay so let's change it as view post okay and then okay inside okay paste that container okay, here we'll create a with a class of row okay and then we create a link to redirect back to index.php file okay here back okay and then class btn btn primary okay and then we'll create an hr okay, now save it okay, now let's refresh and let's click on this first view okay so now we can uh, now you can see i have created a button okay, now below that back button i will create a due class of column lg12 okay and then another view with the class of list group okay and then create a href hash class list group item and then list group item action okay and then okay. Okay. close the link and then Then I'll create a B tag with a class of this one list group item copy and I'll put it here and then okay here I will create few more B tags okay so because I want to display title description and category of that post i'll just copy and i will put here a couple of times i'll save it okay now let us come and okay and i want one more p for displaying the published on information okay so now let's refresh okay so now here right now i'm it's not displaying anything this is because we have redirected the user to the view.php file but now we need to get the details of the post equals to id1 okay so now let's do that okay so here okay, let's come at the top okay here you can see i have included my db.php file and header.php file just below that i will just start on your php id dollar underscore get id okay so here this using this get i'll i am 
getting the id of this post okay because once i get access to this id which is the id of that post with the help of that id i can get the data of that particular post from the table okay, so now let's come here and then statement pdo okay so here you can see here i have created the pdo object and i will um, i'll get the access to this pdo object here inside my view.php file because i have included this db.php file here inside my view.php okay so pdo query select star from okay so our table name is posts from posts where id equals to dollar id and then if statement okay row count okay so here i will check whether my table post contains the record which i'm which i'm uh, trying to fetch from the table okay so here i'm checking whether my table contains the data which i'm looking for okay so if i found the data then i will run the while condition to get the data and i will store that i will make a reference to that data statement fetch pdo fetch obj okay so i will fetch the data as an object okay, and then i will store the data inside variable probe id okay and then i will get all different information id title description okay, and then published on okay, here as well title description and then published on okay now save it okay and now we have got all the details from the table of that required post and now we need to put these details inside our p tag okay. title dollar title just copy title description okay so i forgot one thing which is category Let's copy okay. category okay and here title category description description okay Let's copy and published published on save it and now let's refresh okay so now you can see it's getting the details of the first post and the title of that first post is wordpress 
category CMS and description and then publish on okay so now when I click on this back button I'll be redirected to index.php file and now let's click on this last post okay so here the title of the final post is kick php cms okay and this is description okay so this is how we can uh, get the details of any single post from the mysql table using php pd okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel okay and thanks for watching